most flown U.S. launch vehicle ever. And currently, it's the only orbital class rocket capable of reflight. The entire vehicle stands 229 feet tall, or about the height of a 21-story building. The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage, also referred to as the booster. Not only is the first rocket that we attempt to land for future reuses, today's booster will be flying for the ninth time, having previously supported Axiom 2, Axiom 3 missions. At liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage accelerates through the Earth's atmosphere and into space using nine Merlin 1D engines. Together, these Merlin 1D engines, or M1Ds, deliver 1.7. The second stage sits above the first stage and has a single Merlin vacuum, or MVAC, engine that ignites after the first stage separates. The Falcon 9's first and second stages are connected by the black carbon fiber interstage. I'm super excited that you joined us for this launch of Astro-1P. Astro-1P will replace four existing satellites and seamlessly take over. And as I mentioned before, our next launch, everyone back here for that next attempt. Have a good evening.